So, one of the players that was very vocal, and I said the most vocal, period, of when the Bengals to re-sign Jermaine Pratt was B.J. Hill. We made a video last night about him, how he came out and said, Hey, listen, sign my brother back. And based on what I'm saying, they are very, very close friends. So this makes sense. You know, he wants to play with his friend. He wants to play with his best friend. He wants his best one on the team, whatever the case. Well, Jermaine Pratt got signed today. Got signed to a three-year contract for $21 million. A little bit more with incentives. I think it's up to 25 with incentives. But that's a lot less than people expected, by the way. A lot of people expected him to go for a lot more. I kept saying throughout the year it was going to be like a $7 million. He was going to be $7 million a year. A lot of people expected him to go all the way up to $11 million. Then you see what uh, Tremaine Edmonds got and how he got like crazy 17.5 and whatever the case. BJ Hill said earlier this season that if Jermaine Pratt gets resigned, he will go bald. He will shave his head. Shave every inch of hair off his head. <clears throat> well, Cincinnati posted this today at BJ Hill. When can we expect this? And they made a graphic of him bald. This is, um, this is what you call beauty. No, on a real note, though, Jim BJ Hill, when can we expect this? Because I'll tell you right now, I would not really care too much about the fact of him shaving his head. Unless he shaves his head and then donates the hair to like um, one of those like charities or something like that. Maybe then I'd be like, okay, this actually is a really cool thing. If not, I don't really care too much. Although I do like the idea of like, back, what was it? Was it Mar Marvin Lewis? No, not Mar Marvin Lewis. Um, Crap. Who was the Clowns head coach uh, for the longest time? Who Jackson? Something Jack. Was it Who Jackson? Who Jackson who said once the Browns got a win because, guys, do not remember. The Browns did not win a game for like, what was it, three or four years? It was ridiculous. They didn't win a game for like three or four years. And he said the first time they won a game, and they won the game finally when they got Baker Mayfield. He said he would, wa he would walk into the Chicago's River. Or the Ohio River. Not Chicago, sorry. Ohio River. He would go in there. Just go straight in. He did. He, you know, lived up to it. But when they did win a game, no one expected him to do it. Everyone was like, oh, yeah, whatever. I mean, that was fun, coach. You know, we appreciate you putting your neck on the line for us and saying, you know, hey, you do A, B, C, and D just so we can win a game. But he actually ended up doing it, which I did honor and respect a lot. But this might... This might not be a thing that BJ has to do. Unless, like I said before, he donates his hair to a charity or something. You know, because they actually do have those things where, especially when people lose their hair, um, either cancer or whatever, they have the whole entire charity set up. So he could do that. He could do that. Guys, have enough late thoughts and opinions. Now that Jermaine Pratt is back, should BJ Hill have to shave his head? All I gotta say, man, is you gotta put your money where your mouth is. If you, if, you, if you say you're gonna do it, I'm just gonna go ahead and say you gotta do it, man. Because your main pride is back. Your best friend is back. Now it's time to man it up a little bit. <laughs> Guys, let me not blow your thoughts and opinions. By the way, this video is completely a joke. I don't care at all if he shaves his head. Okay, I, I don't want to put in there about that. I'm like, oh, hello. No, it doesn't matter. But peace out, guys.